So we posted a video the other day of, of Dasha Polanco and, and some of the backlash she was receiving behind, you know, her tweet, which she was, you know, kind of low key uh, bl saying things to us as black people about why we don't say certain things about an award show uh, when, you know, black people kind of start winning some Emmy awards, right? Which we have way more issues going on in society than a war show that none of us own. Well, she wanted to clarify, you know, what she had to say. And, you know, cause she realized that she was getting some, you know, pushback. So let me go ahead and play her video. And I want you to hear exactly what she says. And, and let's talk about that because, um, you know, Miss Miss Dasha here, she, she gonna switch some things up. Hey guys, I wanted to clarify on the tweet regarding the Latinx snubbed uh, in the Emmys. It was not shading our black community. Blackness is in my DNA as a Dominican, as an Afro-Latina, as a whole, okay? What I'm referring to is we cannot sit here and say we are snub and write these articles and all these kind of things when we ourselves are not doing our due diligence to create the work, to create the opportunities. We can't claim, oh, let's claim diversity, but when you're good, then everything else is okay. And, and diversity doesn't have to be about race, it has to be very about pay, it has to be about positions, it has to be about equality. Equality means equality across the board, it has to be transgendered, LGBTQ, and so on. Thank you. So Dasha said that, you know, she, she's, you know, blackness is part of her DNA. Now, why didn't you say that in the beginning, Dasha? That's not how you came across. We, that's why you made this video. Okay. You say you are Afro Latina. Okay. No problem. I'm not even arguing that. So why didn't you congratulate the other Afro Latinos that won Emmys? That's the only thing I'm saying at the time period, you know? Then you, you, you clarified it. Then you came back and say, oh, well, you know, what I meant was, you know, when people talk about diversity and inclusion, but then when they good, they good. Well, what do you mean by that? Now, if you want to talk about America, America is built off of, um, put, let's say politically, cause that's all kind of like politics, right? Everybody is in their own, what would you call a special interest group? Let's say that every group is a special interest group, no matter how you want to break it up. You mentioned LGBT. Um, you may mention, uh, color, you may mention whatever that's considered special interest groups in America, unfortunately. Right now. Yes. On the grand scheme of things for just human beings, right? You should fight for what's right and what's wrong on the scale of just being a human. I'm with that. Right. But unfortunately we live in a land that people just can't be humans. Unfortunately, or people who are just good human beings are in the minimum. So when you try to be a good human being, and fight for everybody. And then you turn around and look at everybody isn't fighting for you in the way you're fighting for them. Or, you know what I'm saying? Eventually even those people can say, okay, well now we got to turn into a special interest group as well. And we understand special interest groups on look out for the interests of their group. Right? So this is what you have now in 2020. It's even, even now, you know, do we can see with the black community, but I can say the black community have fought for a lot of people. And I can back that up with history. I can back it up with people who have been quote unquote leaders. So if anybody have fought for people and we still fighting for people today, I can show the videos, show the tweets, show the protests. I can show it. So, so Dasha, she can, she now nah, she's barking at the wrong tree with that one. Now then in her tweet, we remember she talked about, no, she was talking about the powers that be once again, the powers that be is a special interest group. They only care about themselves. The Emmy Awards was never created for black people. It wasn't created for Afro Latinas, Latinos, Asians, or whoever else. It was never created for that. It was created for white people. Now, our issue is this when we look at entertainment. Why does it take some award show created by white people to validate if we are a good actor or actress or not? Or why does it take a award show um, created by white people to say if we are a good musician or not? You get what I'm saying? Tupac never won a Grammy award, but Tupac is way better than most of them, you know, in history. That award show doesn't mean you're a good actor, actress, musician, or whatever else, right? We can create our own award shows if you got to have an award, but me, for me, your award is the people, right? If the people support what you do, why do you need an award? 
to say that. I mean, you could look at the support you're getting when you put out projects, whether it's music, if you're acting, etc. Then look at that support. You don't need an award or worry about an award personally. So let's say let's play on what she said about no, I was talking about the powers that be. Okay, Dasha. Well then you as a woman, you know, you say you're Afro-Latina, so you go on both sides. I get it. It's you, you should. Create opportunities for, you know, Latinos or Afro-Latinos, create those opportunities. You an actress, you see, you see, you see the racism, you see the discrimination. We have to get to a point, all of us have to get to a point and say, listen, we don't need to be included no matter who we are, right? And what white folks have. We got to stop begging to be a part of what they have. We listen, if somebody don't want you, you should not want to be around them. I don't understand that. You know, I don't have, I'm not about to beg you to be anywhere. And so if you have been in Hollywood, Dasha, you know how it is. You, you, you an actress. Why don't you create opportunities? You know, look at Issa Rae. Issa Rae started off doing things on YouTube and now she got show. She got a show and all. So, I mean, you can do it. Why not tell the stories of your community? That's not being shown. That's not being represented in a stereotypical way. Just like black people, I say, create our own shows. That's not showing us in a stereotypical way, telling the stories in our own community that we want to tell. I mean, we need to get on the, the guys of creating our own opportunities. That's what I'm on. I mean, if you learn anything from the protests, George Floyd, and anything like that, we need to break away from a system that doesn't mean any of us that isn't white good. It's a call it what it is. It means none of us good. So with that being said, create your own lane, Dasha. That's the only thing I say. And you wouldn't even bring up a conversation on who get what or whatever. Cause you're doing your own thing. Just like, I know you're doing a podcast and everything. Okay. Well, you're doing that. You didn't go beg them to create a podcast. Well, then don't, don't beg them for anything else. And you don't need no podcast award to say that you've got a good podcast. All you got to look at is your analytics and see how many people are listening to me. Right. But leave me a comment. Let me know what think about the situation with Dasha, you know, Polanco, you know, she's she trying to clarify, you know, what she stated and, and, and that's fine. You know, she's claiming blackness and, that, and that's fine too. You should have claimed that the first time, but it, it, it is what it is, you know, on that. But uh, Dasha, you know, if you see this video, just create the opportunities. That's all. The, don't even argue about the powers that be. Don't even be arguing about us because we ain't got nothing to do with anything anyway.